Hello friends, this is Samuel Badal. This said welcomes you in the Automation Mastery Training. And in this tutorial, we are going to discuss about the disable properties of the Intest Card. So how you can disable one type of uh, means one object. Okay, how you can disable one object whenever it's uh, uh, it's in working function. Whenever one object is in the working function, but if you want to disable it, so how you can do it? How you can do it? So that we will see. So for example, let's make uh, one object in a operation. Okay. For that, I am going to take one uh, button. Let's take this button. Okay. So this is my start button. And I am going to attach the tag like heater on tag okay so whenever my and i'm going to take the direct action okay so whenever i press the button my heater will on and whenever my uh, whenever i release the button my heater will off okay okay i am going to define my heater on tag okay it should be the memory discrete because it's a digital tag i am saving it closing it okay now i am going to take one lamp let's take this light just double click on you just you need to just select heater on tag for lamp for display purpose so it's whenever it is zero it should be in the red color whenever it is one it should be in green color okay and I am blinking the enable properties. If my blink rate is medium, okay. Blink when, when it will blink, whenever my heater is on, okay. So this tag should be copy and paste for here, okay. Because blink when heater on is equal to one, okay. So heater in heater on is my tag and i am enabling this blinking property that's why i need to assign tag for here only okay also uh, and this is the expression for this fill color and this is the expression for this blinking property that's why i need to assign for both that tag for both okay i am saving it okay see when i press it's blinking when I release it's off okay when I press my heater is on okay because I have selected as a direct function okay if you see that here action is direct direct means it's momentary when I press it it will be on okay so my heater will be on but I am doing as a blinking property over here so that's why it's blinking but my heater is on okay now we are going to discuss about disable properties okay so how we'll do it for example if i double click on this oh, sorry if i break the cell if i double click on this okay and if you go to the disable property right before you cannot go to the this disable property because its own property is uh, uh, displaying okay so that's why i need to break the cell and after breaking the cell i can go to the this disable properties okay for example i am going to this disable property assignment if i click on this when it should be disabled okay whenever so let's take a level tag example whenever my level is so i need to select level tag whenever my level is let's take value 20 okay whenever my level tag is greater than 20 then ever disable state should be on otherwise it should be off okay that means my tag is greater than 20 this switch will not work it should be disabled right this is the way 
to explain okay 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 save if i'm going to the runtime mode see i am pressing it yes my button is working okay but if see my button is not working i'm pressing it i'm pressing on this button because my level value is greater than 20 okay so if i'm pressing it but it's not working so that means it's disabled so if my level value is less than 20 that means let's suppose 10 okay see it's working if i'm pressing it it's working so it's not disabled that means my disable function is working very fine okay so this is the way to explain the disable property of the interscada right and one another example i can uh, take like yeah button yes so this is the button and here is the disable property so whenever my level is greater than for example i am taking 70 value it should be disabled so my button should be a disabled whenever my level is greater than 70 so I am saving my screen. If I am going to the runtime mode. Okay. See my button is working right now. If I am pressing W1. I am going to the W1 screen. If I am pressing W4. I am going to the W4 screen again. But whenever my level is greater than 70. See this button is disabled. You can see that. I am pressing it. But I am not going to move to W1 screen. Okay. I will not go to move to the W1 screen because it's disabled because my level value is greater than 70. So this is called as a disable property. Now my level value is below 70. Yeah, see, it's working. If I press on this, I'm going to the W1 screen. Okay, I can go to the W1 screen, right? So this is how you can understand the disable property in the Interscada. And uh, that's it for this video and hope you are uh, understanding these concepts uh, in a better way uh, by these videos uh, we are going to discuss about new topic in our new session thank you